Mohammed Hassan is an assistant professor of physics and optical sciences. His goal is to photograph an electron in motion. It's never been done before. I still remember the date, 24th of April, 2022 the first image of the electron motion. And I think we are, as a scientist, work so hard for years for the glory and the sweetness of this such a moment. It's just this moment when you see something nobody see before. A lot of open questions now becomes available with the ATO microscope and the capability of doing it. It's difficult, but since it's difficult, this is a job for us to do. So what you see in, in, in my lab, there are two directions. The first one focusing on developing ultra-fast optoelectronics and light field synthesizer. And then when we work through the lab, you see the big laser, which generate for us very short laser pulses. And we make this pulse very broad by propagating through a hollow fiber where you see the laser turn from red, yellow, and blue. And we use this to control the electrons inside the material so it can reflect light on and off in attosecond time scale. The attosecond is one out of billion of a billion of a second. And why is this important? Because this is the a native time of the motion of electrons. So, if you would like to take a picture of faster train moving next to you, probably you will see a blurry image. However, if I put you on a train next to this fast train and they are both moving with the same speed, you will be able to take a very good snapshot of the other train. Here, the electrons are the first train and my atom microscope is a second trait. So I open for you the capability of seeing electron uh, in real time and space. Electron motion is everywhere around us. Electron motion is the reason we are feeling, because the electron moves in our nervous system. The electrons are the reason why we see, because this is how the images form in front of our eyes. Electron motion controls chemistry and controls all the properties of matter. So the capability of seeing it will allow us to control it. If we control electron, we can control chemistry, we can control the physics of the material or the behavior of the material, we can advance the technology, we can make new electronics. So this is now optimized. My next goal is to develop a quantum atom microscope to test the fundamental quantum physics questions or quantum physics principles. We send our first balls, okay. Quantum physics in general talking about the probabilities of motion of photons or motion of electrons. We may be able one day to test this in our microscope. And we use this electron? would like to discover more secrets about the electron motion in everything around us. All of us has this dream from the beginning. We, we promise each other to success. So I'm so fortunate to work with this talented young scientist and work together as a family. And I feel like this is one also of my duty. It's not just discovering new science, it's to teach the young, talented scientist. So we can do the experiment on this one, right? We are not passion just about achievement. We are passionate by science and science will never end. Right, you can do this, yes. Never ever lose faith in science. Science is our way forward to advance 
our humanity, to advance our country. And I think it is our destiny as a scientist to not rest. Just keep doing science. <laughs>